Yo, what's up guys, Tobes at TDB back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to review the Coquette D10, which is currently the podium vehicle this week in GTA Online. In this video, I'm going to discuss whether this vehicle is worth trying to win off the lucky wheel, or if you're watching this video when it's no longer on the podium, then I'll also say whether it's worth purchasing or not. Without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video. Firstly, I'm going to talk about the customization for the Coquette D10 which on the whole I think is pretty good considering it was released in 2020. There are quite a few liveries to go with it, and some of them are really cool. Now moving on, I'm going to talk about the sound of the car. I'm not going to lie, the sound of this car is absolutely orgasmic. <laughs> I don't know what it is, I just really like the sound of the engine. Moving on to the looks of the car, I'm going to rate it a solid 8 out of 10. I don't know if I did the best job customising this car. Maybe I shouldn't have used the livery, but overall this car looks pretty sick. I also decided to remove the roof when customising, which makes it more unique I think. Anyway, moving on to the most important part of the video, which is the performance of the car. The first thing I'm going to say is that unfortunately this vehicle isn't competitive in the sports class and is unlikely to win you any races. So if you're looking for a car to race with then this car isn't ideal. However what I will say about this vehicle is that it's really fun to drive around in. Its handling is pretty good however it does have a tendency to oversteer as you can see in the background footage but once you get used to the vehicle you will learn how to control it properly. So to conclude this video do I think it's worth trying to win this vehicle from the lucky wheel? I'd say yes, as the car is about 1.5 mil, so it's worth a lot, and I think the D10 looks really good. However, if you are considering buying this vehicle when it's no longer on the lucky wheel, then I'd say potentially it's not worth getting. It just depends on if you have a lot of money to waste on GTA or not. It's up to you though. Anyway guys, that's the end of the video. I tried to keep this video as short as possible. Anyway, please consider leaving a like and subscribing and hopefully see you in the next one.